the escalating row over the failed appointment of six judges. Chief Justice Martha Kome is now drawing the red line, declaring that the president has no choice under the law but to appoint the judicial officers. Kome, who issued her strongest statement so far on the issue, warned against what she termed as an attempt to capture the judiciary. And as Sam Ogina reports, Kome says the bench will not cave in despite the ongoing attacks on judges. It has been weeks of deafening silence from the Judicial Service Commission over the appointment row of the six judges. And today, Chief Justice and the Chairperson of the JSC, Martha Kome, set the record straight. I, Daniel Musinga. The CJ used the swearing-in ceremony of Justice David Musinga as the President of the Court of Appeal to state JSC's position. All persons recommended by the JSC and as directed by the Constitution must be appointed as judges. That is the law. In rejecting the promotion of the six judges, the president claimed to be in possession of adverse intelligence reports. The chief justice indicating reasons for their rejection remains a puzzle to the commission. President Kenyatta becoming increasingly isolated as pressure mounts on him to obey the constitution he swore to protect. The president's grandstanding said to negatively impact the administration of justice. It is my hope. It is the hope of many Kenyans that the Honorable the Chief Justice will employ her diplomatic skills to bring this stalemate to a closure sooner than later. It is my prayer and belief that the remaining four nominated colleagues will join us soon. Please, I beseech you, my Lord, do not bend to the deafening blitz of coercion and oppression from the executive. The head of the judiciary said the institution was under threat with increasing attempts of capture. Call me bullish, the judiciary will not cave to the pressure and attacks directed its way. As I undertake to defend and protect our institutional independence, I would prevail upon all parties also to respect what is stated in the constitution, to respect judicial independence of judges and not direct judges on what to do. All the hands of the three arms of government took an oath to defend, preserve and protect the constitution and therefore we must ensure that our institutions work interdependently and independently to deliver services and good governance to the people of Kenya. Let us try to find diplomatic means and backroom negotiations that can solve the problems that we're faced with. DPP Nurdin Haji decried the snail pest prosecution of corruption cases, a move not only hampering the war on corruption, but emboldening graft laws in the country whose refuge is obtaining court orders and appeals against their prosecution. The complexity and the numerous applications made by parties that delay the cases ought to be aggressively addressed through devising mechanisms for their quick disposal. Will President Uhuru Kenyatta buckle under the pressure to appoint the six judges, or will the president dig in in defiance? Thank you very much, Chief Justice. Thank you. All focus now firmly fixated on the president in a battle of constitutionalism pitting the judiciary and the executive. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.